What is going on, movie meals? Frozen 2, this weekend, we saw it. Let's get into it. Kyle, what did you think of Frozen 2? I thought it was quite delightful, just as much uh, as I enjoyed the first Frozen, because I thought that was a really uh, fun Disney movie. I thought like it kind of changed how uh, storytelling is with these type of princess movies. And I think here, um, it still takes these princess movies in different directions by making it like a more of like an adventure type of movie where we go out into the world of Arendelle and we get to see all new kinds of stuff that I think kids will really be interested in and that they'll really enjoy. Uh, the connection between Anna and Elsa, that's the same as the first one, and we get to see a lot of them together. But then we also get them separately with their own arcs, uh, a little bit more than I think the first one did. I think the second one, they really tried to tell different stories about seeing them going through changes despite uh, them kind of wanting things to be the same as before. It's kind of the whole theme of this movie. And I thought that part was done well for uh, the most part anyway. And I think, honestly, the animation and the visuals might be a step up in the first one, which kind of makes sense. It's been six years. A lot of animation has changed in those six years. But yeah, it just seemed really more, even the same mag type of magic that we saw from the first one. The visuals were incredible, maybe even a step up. Uh, kids are really going to enjoy this movie. I think parents are going to enjoy this movie until they hear all the new Frozen songs. Nothing as catchy as like Let It Go is, but they're still really good and still really entertaining enough to where kids will want to listen to them nonstop. Yeah, I liked the movie. I saw Frozen for the first time this July, uh, and I really liked Frozen. I thought the sequel was good. I think it's in the vein of just a very good first movie and an okay second movie. I thought the songs were good individually and on their own. Uh, the visuals are very good. I think Olaf is a standout, which I, he is in the first one as well. I think he's by far the, the character who gets the best dialogue yeah. in the film. <laughs> Uh, which is interesting because I, I like his short in front of Coco I did not like and the way they use him outside of the films I don't like but I really like him being used in the film I think he's he's by far the best part of the entire movie mm -hmm. uh, but yeah Kyle what are your negatives? Uh, yeah, I mean, as much as I like the songs, I'm kind of with you there, like, independently, they're really good, but sometimes in the story, they don't quite fit, or they're not really all that necessary. Um, there was kind of some interesting stuff with the humor. I thought it was funny, but at the same time, it was kind of, kind of takes itself out of place, or at times, like, it feels like a little bit too meta to where it's, like, it's supposed to be funny, but it doesn't quite stick the landing anyway. Um, and I thought, well, Anna and Elsa, their independent arcs were great. I didn't feel the same for... Kristoff or Olaf, which was kind of disappointing because I wanted to see uh, what Kristoff's art would be like, and instead it really falls uh, flat for me. And Olaf, he is the standout. Like, he is super funny. Josh Gad does a great job getting more uh, lines and more screen time with him, but I think the arc that they're trying to go with didn't quite do the job that I think they were trying to go for. So, I mean, besides from that, it's like I said earlier, like, it's still magical. You get back into the Frozen franchise, like, as though it was only yesterday and not six years ago. So I still think Disney did a pretty good job with this one. Uh, my biggest negatives, uh, some of the songs I individually like, but they are used poorly in the film and the way they're used take you out of it. Uh, um, I agree with Kristoff. He gets thrown to the complete side in the film. Um, I do not believe Elsa had a very good arc. I much more preferred Anna's arc. I don't think Elsa... She she kind of just repeats the same kind of stuff to me in the first one uh, and doesn't really learn a lesson. It's it, To me, it felt like from the first one. Um, and uh, it's just... It's not as funny. It's not as charming. It's not as uh, just moving and loving as the first one is. So it's just an okay sequel for me. It's going to make tons of money. I believe it already has, and I believe I thought I saw a headline that said it actually has already beaten Frozen 1's opening weekend. Mm. Um, but it, it, and again, none of the songs are as catchy, uh, and then my biggest negative is that they showed a Star Wars Rise of Skywalker trailer and cut it down instead of showing the full trailer, and that was dumb. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, yeah, those are my negatives. I just thought it was a less charming sequel. Yeah. Overall. But, okay. uh, yeah, guys, what did you think? Please comment below, let us know, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and as always, thanks for watching, Mom. See you guys.